Hello class. In this uh, little tutorial, um, I wanted to show how encryption actually works uh, when you're using OpenPGP. In the class, we talked about using or installing GPG for Win, and you could refer to the class notes for that. What we did is we downloaded, or what I did is I downloaded uh, Win GPG as uh, discussed in the class, I installed it within my uh, virtual uh, system, which is just Windows XP, and I have the program open. So in this program, uh, what I have is I have a couple of um, certificates already um, installed, uh, pu both public and private certificates, as we dis discussed in class, and one is user, and I created one called Jane Doe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a certificate uh, for uh, John Doe, so then that way John Doe can communicate, or that, so then John Doe can go ahead and encrypt email messages. And this process is just creating a public and private key. So the way you do this in Cleopatra um, is you go ahead and go to a uh, file, and you go ahead and go to new certificate. And the kind of certificate we want to create, a pu the public and private key pair. Remember, this is asymmetric cryptography. Is um, we want to create a personal open PGP key pair, uh, and we'll click on that. And so again, I'm going to go ahead and create a, uh, a, a certificate for John Doe. And on, in the email, um, we're just type in his address, and this is just a fake email, so I'll just put John Doe at some domain.com. You could put in a comment, but that's not necessary. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on next. So what's going to happen? It's going to go ahead and create a key when we click on create a key, so I'll go ahead and do that. And it's going to ask us for a passphrase. Now, in this demonstration, I'm not going to create a, a, a fancy passphrase. But remember, a passphrase isn't isn't a is it have, doesn't have to be a password. But a passphrase could be something like, uh, "This is a dog with the spaces," and that'll be fine. But in this case, I'm just going to use a passphrase, a password. Obviously, this wouldn't be a good idea because uh, it's not, not not a secure one. You want to create a secure one, and you'll see that the keys are being generated. So what they're saying is that um, to create the keys, it's going to use a lot of um, random numbers. Uh, it's going to go ahead and um, generate a key. And the idea is in this box in the background here, you you can type whatever you want to kind of you know mix it up a little bit. But um, it's warning me saying that the password or passphrase that I use is unsecure. Obviously, password's not so secure. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this one anyway for demonstration purposes. Um, so it's going to sit here and uh, uh, create a passphrase. And it's going to ask me to re enter the passphrase that I want to do. So that was password. Oops, not in that window, in this window here. And I'll click on OK. And so what will happen is in here I could go ahead and type whatever I want. And then it went ahead and created the key. So the key was successfully created. Now what I could do is I could create a backup of your key pair. I could send certificate by email or I could upload it to a directory service. And when I upload to a directory service, it's, it's, it's a server where I can store public keys, right? We can give our public keys out as discussed in class. So as you can see, the uh, certificate for John Doe is created. Now, if I wanted to export the public key so I can send it to everyone, I could go ahead and right click and I'll click on export certificates. And what's going to do, it's going to ask us for a file name. So I'll just put J Doe certificate or public certificate. All right, and I'll go ahead and click on save. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And on my desktop, what I have is I have a public certificate here ready to be sent out. Okay. Now, if you want to know what the uh, public certificate looks like, um, what I'll do is I'll open up Notepad because all it is is a text file. All right. And um, when I open up Notepad, I'm going to go ahead and load this .asc file um, on there. So it shouldn't, you know, hopefully this thing will um, won't, won't take too long, but. Let me open up Notepad again. 
looks like my uh, virtual system. Okay, here we go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that desktop or that, that ASC file. I'm going to change this to all files here. And I'm just going to open up this public certificate. So all it is is a text file, as you can see here. All right. Now, you don't have to have it in an ASC file here. Um, what you can do is you can go ahead and actually copy this whole block here and actually include this message because remember class as we discussed anybody can have the public uh, key right um, people will use that public key to encrypt a file that only Joe can open with his private key so let's go ahead and talk about um, so 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 that's it with that uh, generating a key pair uh, open PGP key pair and exporting a a, uh, a, a public key. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and encrypt a message. Uh, I have a message here that is a message to you. I'm going to go to encrypt this message to go ahead and send to uh, uh, Jane uh, Doe. And in this message, it's a, it's a it's a fairly simple message. There's I mean not really much going on with it except um, it says here um, I just I want you to encrypt this file I want to encrypt this file for some reason uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to encrypt this file using Jane Doe's uh, public uh, cer certificate that she's uploaded so what I'll do is I'll right click on the message and remember I have GPG for win installed that we discussed it in the class and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just um, encrypt this file. So I'll go to more GPG, GEX options and I'm going to go ahead and click on encrypt. And it's going to ask me, you know, what do I want to do with it? Well, I want to encrypt the file and I'll go ahead and click on next. And I'm going to use Jane Doe's public key as mentioned earlier. All right. And then what I, what I do is I select her public key because I imported it into this program and I will go ahead and click on encrypt. So what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead and encrypt the file and as you can see the encryption has uh, succeeded. I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. So notice that here is the original unencrypted file but this file here is the encrypted file. So this file that I have here, this message to you dot doc dot gpg is the encrypted file and what I would do with this file is I would email this now if anybody was to see this file here they wouldn't be able to do anything with it anyway because remember that this message is encrypted and because this message is encrypted um, you know it, you would need to have a a private key to decrypt it so let's go ahead and decrypt this all right and the reason why we decrypt this we can decrypt this file is because I have Jane uh, you know I have Jane Doe's private key so again remember that you don't share the private keys um, out there because uh, you don't want to share your own private key because anybody could encrypt the message on behalf of you um, and the, for demonstration purposes I do have the uh, encryption uh, the private key so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and right click and I'm gonna go ahead and decrypt this message so I right click and go to decrypt now it's going to say, all right, well, you want to decrypt this file here. Where do you want to um, output it to? And I'll just throw it back on the desktop. Okay. Um, actually, what I'll do right quick is um, I'm going to throw this old message away because, you know, it's the encrypted file. I'll empty out my recycle bin. Um, I, I don't want to uh, have that file on there because it might conflict. So I don't have the file anymore. It's, it's, it's ready to be encrypted or decrypted excuse me so it's gonna ask me where do I want to ex export that alright uh, what is the input file which happens to be message to you dot doc dot gpg and remember this is the uh, encrypted file and I'm using my private key to decrypt it I'll go ahead and click on decrypt and verify so it's gonna do this for me alright and um, I have to wait till it finishes remember one of the things about encryption is that you know it does take some time now in order for me to decrypt it I have to I can't just decrypt it I have to also provide the passphrase that I set up for this key so I'll go ahead and type in the passphrase that I set that that was set up with this key and I'll click on OK so what happened is that it decrypted the message I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK and as you can see on the desktop here, here is the decrypted message, the message to you. Okay, so if I opened it up, here's the original message and somebody can read the message. Okay, so 
This here is just a, a really quick demonstration of how to encrypt and decrypt message. Remember, you could also do signing, and there's also some advanced features, which is going to be out of the scope of this tutorial. So I just wanted to show you what this looked like. Thank you very much for listening.